Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How you doing? Hello all you hardcore boxing fans. Hope you're well. It's been fair. Just some four hours snooker. On my own trying to play with this kill. Crap, my kill's gonna be another two weeks. I've got no fuel. Again. Story of my life, innit? Porky running out of fuel. I put me uh, weirdo glasses on. Let's see what we got here. Fuel tank reserve. Filling stations close to B. Oh, 0 0.5 mile. Just up here, isn't it? Uh, what can we talk about? Let's have a look. Whoa, I think we can talk about Kel Brook. What's happened to Kel Brook? Technically, probably the best fighter to come out of Britain after Tyson Fury, technique wise, very good technical boxer by the book, that's how you should, a textbook fighter should fight when you think of Kel Brook, right, you should always remember this Kel Brook does everything by the textbook, if you were to if you were to build the perfect fighter, it would be Kel Brook because he does everything by the book Brook by the book he does everything perfect everything he's not a fancy Dan like Nazim Hamid or Roy Jones or Carl Froch with that low left he does everything by the book now and they go and put him in with a killer like Golovkin what's all that about? what is all that about? I don't get that I don't get it at all. Bothers me. Have a look what how much fuel is here. Might go to Tesco's, just fill up. What do you reckon? Tesco's, yeah? Let's have a look how we've got enough to get home. Depends how much it is. I like a bargain, mate. No prices though, isn't it? Every now and then I like to run it into it dregs. Ah, stuff it, we'll go on. We'll go on. See if we can make it. See if we can get on without wrecking down. But no, Kel Brook, perfect fighter, but did you see how he lost his cool when he said don't effing mention Khan to me? And I can understand that, that's a bit of frustration, but when Dennis and Asif Valley got involved, Kel Brook knocked the fight back, didn't he? He knocked the fight back. Could have had the fight. Could have had it. 2.8 million on the on the upside or something it were. I think he was problem where I mean we're getting a million extra than him, because he's the name in the Amir. Must have beat 10, 11, 10 or 11 world champions. I mean, his Brook beat three, four, if that. I don't think he's beat any more than four. Senchenko, he beat him. Porter, that's two. But what other world champions he's beat? Did he love more and do or something like that? Or I forget, but he might have beat three or four maximum world champions. Uh, I don't know. Bad decision making. Bad timing. But what's bothering me? about the Kel Brook interview that I watched today is simply this Kel Brook said he's been cutting corners all his career and now all of a sudden he don't, he don't cut corners now all of a sudden Kel Brook doesn't cut corners oh I'm not cutting corners Eddie for fans not cutting corners I've got chocolate brownies in the fridge so already baby chocolate brownies look the chocolate brownie one-liners they've worn a bit thin now aren't they and it's not really 
It was cooler at one point, wasn't it? But now that Eddie Earns not picking up the phone for Kelbrook and not hanging out at the back of him, <laughs> I didn't mean that in a in a sexual way or anything like that. But how could, now Eddie Earn is not doing his best for Kelbrook. That's better, Russell. Weird it a little bit better. People move on, don't they? I mean, there's a lot of people who I know in the boxing industry, in Doncaster, in Rotherham, in Sheffield, in Barnsley, and they will all tell you straight, Kelbrook is not the fighter he once were. He's on slide. Kel is going to say, well, I'm cutting corners and now. I'm stronger, faster, quicker than a speeding bullet. That's what he's going to say, isn't he? Well, that's what he's coming out saying. Yes, I can understand him coming out with all that, but it's a bit late in the day now, isn't it? So all them times we've been to Kell Brook fights, and I went with my kids' missus to watch him fight Senchenko, because Eddie give me tickets, give us tickets, 1,300 quid for ringside tickets, give them me for free. And we walked out just before Brook were coming in, we went and had a curry on Attercliffe Road, that place, it's a beautiful curry house. I forgot what it's called, but it's an old, it's an old, 18th century building and you can just pull in off at main road so we went and had a curry there because the show was pony wasn't it i remember people shouting seasider cheering on brian rose and i said to my kid's mum at the time what is this what my life's come to we were sat sh we're sat shouting seasider seasider it just took forever and ever and people were walking out before Kelly even got in ring the show was that bad right Kel Brook second best fighter in the country technique wise he's up there we for skill wise he's up there we I mean I always personally say his styles his style is like Frank Bruno's. He's a smaller version of Frank Bruno's. For that textbook style, textbook, he's like a smaller version of Frank Bruno's. He does everything correct. And he's got some pop in his punches, Kel, as well. But I think that putting him in with a killer middleweight who holds the joint record with Hopkins for defences, they put him in with a killer middleweight who are icing everybody, but technically when you look at Golovkin's record he was picking off people one he were protected but how many world champions has he beat him it's not as many as Hopkins at middleweight Hopkins beat nine 20 defenses nine world champions beat how many has he beat I think it's about six and it five or six Golovkin not as good already he didn't want to step up did he to super middle but if he's a middle he's a middle but the point I'm trying to make is this Kelbrook once he fought him, it were all downhill after that, wasn't it? All downhill after after uh, after he fought Golovkin. All downhill. Then they put him in with Errol Spence. Golovkin smashed one eye socket, and the other one were half smashed. And Spence just picked it off that one, didn't he? Now they're both stronger and better than ever. No, it's rubbish. That rubbish. Never the same fighter. And he was damaged when they put him in with Errol Spence, but what Eddie Hearn bothered? No, because he got his money back, didn't he, that he invested in Kel Brook. Eddie Hearn ruined Kel Brook, and now, yeah, Kel's got a few quid, lives in a nice big house, got a family and all that. Good luck to him, because I would I were a Kel Brook groupie. Am I anymore? No. Do I feel that he's messed fans about? Yeah, should have thought I may come when he had an offer. I'm not just saying that it's because it was Dennis and Asif putting an offer to him and to his dad. They knocked the offer back and now they'll do anything. They'll go to bed with a, a rattlesnake. They will do anything now to get that fight. Anything. But it's gone, isn't it? And Amir Khan. While well, they've all been talking about it, Amir Khan keeps getting knocked out. But he keeps picking up seven millions and four millions and five millions. He's just scooping millions up. Amir Khan's Brewstead. You know, multi souffle in it from here, can swimming in Cho Chai. So, I want to give a special shout out on my channel to Dawn's Sewing Rooms from Cunnisbury. All right, it's on Doncaster Road, Mexbra. She takes up all tracksuits for, for us, she's fantastic. Proper seamstress, 
uh, does bridle wear and all that, that's the job. So taking trackies up's easy, isn't it? I'm gonna get her to alter a couple of my suits and stuff like that that are too big for me. Save me some money, but Dawn sewing rooms, Mexbury. If you need out, Dawn, go see Dawn. Tell the big pork he sent you. All right. We're getting back to Kelbrook. Now, let me down, Kelbrook. Should have said, no, Eddie, I'm not fighting Golovkin. You'll have to pay you bank the money or lose your deposit on O2. Big mistake. The people around Kelbrook who, who had him fight Golovkin, who were the people around him then? This is how bad decision, this, this is what bad decisions Kel Brooks made, right? Who's he got around him now? The same people he's got around him that had him fight Golovkin. And the same people he's got around him that, are, that had him fight Errol Spence. So he's got them people around him that got him his two losses. Now fair enough, you shouldn't start your, tra start your training after a loss, but... Stepping up £13 to fight a killer is not good. It's the equivalent of... I can explain it. It's the equivalent of... Let's have a look. Eubank. Chris Eubank stepping up £13 from middleweight to 173 and fighting Viterbia. Chris Eubank against Baturbia, Kelbrook against Golovkin. It's that kind of difference. You know, £13, £15, whatever, but that's what you're looking at. Shocking, shocking, shocking. Eddie Hearn, you should be ashamed. You ruined Sheffield's best ever technical fighter. Kelbrook could have been the darling of Sheffield. He could have been the new Naz can't now grabbing at straws now and if you don't perform in this next one which I don't think look when the writing's on the wall the writing is on the wall there's no you can say or do about it it's just a case of getting mileage out of him Eddie wants to get mileage out of him and that's it he may never get a pay-per-view if he wins Eddie will throw him under the bus in a pay-per-view he'll have to go on road and go abroad that's what will happen He's never going to be A side after this, after the next couple of weeks, which is a shame. But, but the actual show that he's putting on in Sheffield, I don't know. It's intriguing for the main thing that we're going to see where certain people are, aren't we? But as regards Kel Brook, he's the star of the show, and as well to race run in South Yorkshire that probably gave him nightmares. He's on slide that much and it's awful to see. It's actually awful to see. Shocking. It's really, really shocking. 129. 129 for diesel in there, that's shocking. But like I said, getting back to Kel, I just think it's a shame. I think it's a shame, but what can you do? What can you do? So moving on from Kelly Brook or Kel Brook, uh, Tyson Fury. He's got Stitch Duran as he was his cut man. So does that mean he's sacked the other guy, the other guy who saved his career against Otto Wallin? People keep talking to me about loyalty. Porky, what about loyalty? Listen, I like loyal people. Clinton Woods stayed with Dennis from day one to the end. Friends to the end. Or what about Tyson and Ben Davidson? Friends to the end. Friends to the end. It didn't happen, did it? Well, what about all them group hugs and high fives and all that that they gave that corner man, that cut man that saved him? That cut man saved his career. What's happening? He's got Stitch Duran now. Why is that? Well, whatever happened to the fighter repaying a bit of loyalty to a guy that's just saved your career? So Tyson's got Stitch Duran as his cut man. So it could just be internet chat, but it could be hearsay. It's nothing but hearsay. Could be hearsay, but somehow I doubt it. So that's the point I'm trying to make to you, right? The point I'm trying to make to you is this: boxers don't have a duty. Don't, don't don't have to be loyal to anybody. So I don't want to hear people coming up to me going on about loyalty or 
when Dennis has got people in office and the, the, the talking about, yeah, we're going to sign with you, Dennis, and we're going to be loyal and all that. Let me tell you this: he goes in Dennis's what ear? He goes in one ear and out the other. He goes in one ear and out the other. Yeah, I know loyalty's a, a two-way thing and things like that. But as far as I'm concerned, there ain't no loyalty in boxing. Everybody uses everybody, and I get to see it close up. I don't like it what I see. I can count people on two hands who I really trust in the boxing industry. Two hands, because I'm always setting little traps. Two hands. And let me tell you this. Them people who I trust, I should feel proud because I don't trust no one. I'm trying to think which way to go now. This way. Woo! Bit of a back end kick out there. See if I can get down here and get my car filled up. And then tomorrow I can just jump in it and zoom off. But now, uh, look at this here, Clifton Hill. Look at this. But now, loyalty, Tyson Fury, friends to the end. That's Tyson's new name now, Tyson, friends to the end. Fury. Tyson don't owe anybody anything. And if he wants to come back and start sacking people and using abusing people, more fool them for putting up with it. But people will keep putting up with it. Because once they get a bit of fame and get the name out there, well, they're made, aren't they? Ben Davison's got got himself made, hasn't he? He'll, he'll be the he'll be forever known as the guy who won a world title with Billy Joe Saunders at Super Middleweight against whoever his name was, I don't even know. A shocking gift from the Warren Boxing Organization. Uh, WBO, sorry, I mean. I got confused there, didn't I? Don't get personal, Russell, don't get personal. Frank will have you done in. That was funny, Ultra Tech, last night. Going on about Eddie Hearn pretending that he's an Essex gangster. I thought that was funny, that. Go and listen to Ultra Tech Sports More. Sports Raw and get your hardcore badge off Porky. Go listen to Ultra Tech. Leave him a comment telling Big Porky's sent you. <laughs> Eddie Hills! Eddie Hills, a 4 0 undefeated super heavyweight who ices people. He gave it all up to start matching them up and his dad ain't got a few quid. Oh, it was dead funny that Ultra. He had me in stitches. But I'm going to offer a reward. You see this gold chain here, round my neck? I'm going to give this to somebody. If they show me footage, I'm going to give them a gold chain, this round my neck, they can take it. If you get me footage of Eddie Hearn fighting as Eddie Hills on his four amateur fights, I mean, footage? We haven't got footage of Eddie Hearn in his only four fights as a fighter. No footage? Come on! Come on! His dad owns the production companies! No footage of his only son and heir apparent to the matchroom crime... Uh, no, crime syndicate. Crime syndicate. I was going to say matchroom... Whatever. Matchroom family business. There's no footage of Eddie Hearn with them four fights. They ain't even got any sparring footage. Come on! Come on! And Barry Hearn, you've still not come out and said why you're in Epstein's book. If that were Dennis Hobson in Epstein's book, you, there'd be people on my case saying why uh, Dennis come out. And I'd be on his case saying, Den, what's going on here? You're in Epstein's black book. Barry Hearn's in it and I'm getting death threats in emails. And people carrying off and saying they're going to lob me head off and all that. Barry Hearn is in Epstein's book! Come on! We program man! Get with the program! We want to know what's going on! Why are you in that book? Why? Why? There's got to be a reason! You're in Epstein's book! It don't get any worse than that, does it? Jesus! The other thing I want to talk about is Billy Joe Saunders. Somebody sent me a text saying he's not fighting Canelo now. Look, I've been saying for ages, Billy Joe Saunders, if he can't knock Canelo out, he's not going to win on points. So why would he want to go fight Canelo when he can go fight somebody like Daniel Jacobs? Somebody like that, or a washed up Golovkin. 
try and take him to points. If we can stay out of the way of David Lemieux, we can stay out of the way of Golovkin. Golovkin, what is he, 39 next year? 39 next year or this or this April or something, 38, 39. He's an old man Golovkin now. Go fight him, Billy, it's a safer bet for you. Like all the rest of the fights you've had that have been safe. I don't want to hear that Billy Joe's son is this master technician. I don't want to hear this This about his son technician like, yeah he is, but he's a technician against people who you can look like a technician against. Let's see him in a fight where we can see if he's a technician. It's alright being a technician against David Lemieux, or these others that are... I mean look who he's been fighting lately, come on. Let's see him be a technician against Canelo. That's, that'll bring the best out in Billy, and Billy can win it if he puts his technician head on, but... Come on, you've got to start coming out of your comfort zone, Bill. You're good enough. Come on, let's do it. Fly the flag for Britain. Look at that, it's gone up. It was 125 yesterday. Oh, God, I don't go in here now. I'm banned, aren't I? Shall I front it out? Big pork fronting it out. I'll just pull in here. So, so what? You can't ban me. You don't fucking own this place. Never swearing. Fuck all to me. Right, peace out. Fucking hell. Pull the bunt at the wrong side. Get him with Mustang. Go on, lad. Go on, lad, with Mustang. She bans me. Here we go. Spending 160 quid a week with that new note. Alright. Hold, oh, isn't it? Freezing one. Right? Freezing. Should have put the jumper on, Mum. Right? Oh, I'm back to the knees. Isn't it? Should have come yesterday and feed me yesterday.
Oh, she's let, she's served me, but she's gone into it back to try and stop turning it pump off because she turned it off when I got in there. Where's that money gone? Now, have a look. That should do it. Right, let's see if the uh, let's see if I'm popular. That was awkward. You win some, you lose some, don't you? He's actually gone in back there. You know, let's try and get me stopped from coming in here. I always try and come in when she's not in. Cheapest diesel, isn't it? In the area. I know it's only, well, it works out about a quid fifty on a fill up, but it's a principal thing, isn't it, with government? Well, getting back to uh, fuel. Well, I'm not going to be ripped off, but she's gone in back there. But the turn pump off, gone in back and said, I mean, I hate to save him. Yeah, why not? Comes in twice a week. What's that? Nearly 80 quid Supreme Diesel. Always put Supreme in if you can because it makes your engine look better, look, look, last longer. Always keep your oils done as well on your car. So all you car lovers out there, if you've got got a car look after it put your oil in reset values reset right a full tank says I should do 585 mile and I've just done 515 so that's because you're running about all the time and built up areas in it but if you if you can get it to uh, Go on the motorway, I can get 700 out of this tank. Well, don't seem to be able to get up motorway much with it. Now turn left. But getting back to what we were speaking about, Billy Joe Saunders, if he doesn't fight Canelo next, Frank Warren's let him go and didn't and everything Frank Warren's said has come true, hasn't it? He couldn't do no more with him, could he Frank? He's let him go and took and obviously paid Frank to, no. to get that contract. If Eddie Earn can't if Frank can't